Hello my little loves and welcome back to the Urban Butchery channel with me Franco Machulayo. Now on today's show I've got something really special for you as usual and that is how to debone a derump of beef. So without further ado, bottoms up, heads down, you got it, let's crack on. So here we are guys, a beautiful Devon Ruby Red top of beef and as you see I'm pointing there to that piece of fat which joins onto the thick flank and the front of my saw is pointing roughly towards the end of that tail. So I'm just sawing through the rump bone now, really taking my time and making sure I don't cut that underlying muscle. I should slow down in a second and you'll see the bone part away from the main part. There we go. And you saw it break there, nice and gentle. So now I'm going to take my steak knife, a little bit of edge maintenance, very important. If anybody wants to know how to maintain the edge of the knife, please check the edge maintenance video that we have. So now I'm going to cut through. I'm using the steak knife on this as well, so because it's a big cut, so we use the bigger knife. Then we don't get stepping across the face of the rump. So there's the rump separated. Now I'll just show you that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. We've got a little bit of thick flank left on the fat there, which is totally acceptable. So, whoops. There we go, bring it back again. So we just put the top of beef to one side. And then we'll concentrate on the rump. So as I said, this is going to be a D-rump, and I'll explain that in a moment. It's the specification that we use. So there's a little bit of a close-up. That's a little bit better of a shot. And you can see what we're doing. So some edge maintenance on my uh, five inch Victorinox semi-flex. So the first step with this is that we're gonna go down the back of the tailbone. So I'm just following that bone all the way down. And then we turn it back over. So now with, just with the point of the knife, I'm just running my knife down the back of uh, the bottom end of that H-bone. Now there is a membrane in the side, inside of this, which you can just about see, and you can get the point of your knife in there, and um, you should be able to get that bone out pretty clean. It will never come out spotless unless you're going to spend an hour on it. So I'm just working my way down the other side of the inside of the tailbone there. I've got to say, this is a beautiful piece of beef here. So we're just working our way around. Point of the knife. Always looking where we're cutting. Along the tailbone. And off the bone pops. So there's the rump. We'll just pop that to one side. And concentrate on the bone a little bit. So it's... Acceptable, you will leave meat with this, like I say, unless you're going to take you know hours over it. Um, but don't worry about that, just trim it up after and make sure you get as much meat off it as possible. Then we're using all of the animal, of course. The trimming that comes off this will go for mince or manufacturing, burgers, that sort of thing. Nothing goes to waste, either the bones get sawn up and they get bagged up and given to the general public. For stock, or even uh, if you've got a lucky dog. So I'm just taking that meat out of the back end of that tailbone there. Just giving it a good look over. So I'm just pointing to that tailbone again. So just scrape that out. And then there's two little pieces on top that I can see from here. So hopefully I do get around to that. Oh, there we go. Bit of a trim up. And that's the bone done. So we just put that to one side. We'll saw that in half later on. And as I said, we'll bag it up. So now we've got the rump. What we're going to convert into a D rump. And then you just be ready for slicing. A little bit of edge maintenance. So first we're just trimming off that 
bit of thick flank that we left on the fat there. And then we're just following the seam down behind that fat and just trimming that out. There's a little bit of mise left on there. Um, that'll be trimmed up a bit later on. Then that fat will be used for tying on fat. So there's the D-rump. So we're just going to cut that off. It just needs a little bit of trimming. That'll go for uh, economy steaks. Makes great stir fry as well. So there's the tail meat, which has come from be behind the tailbone. Now we're going to get into the seam there. You see my finger going into it. And then we're going to work our way right to the end. And then just seam that out. So now we're going to move just along the top of that fat there. We're pushing the meat away. And we, then we're just pushing the fat outwards to take that out. You will leave a little bit of meat with that, but don't worry about that. You can trim that up a bit later on. And then we're just getting rid of that bit of gristle there. Now I'm looking it over. Let's see if there's a bit of excess fat there. And a little bit of meat to trim off the end there. We'll have a good look, just turn it over. You can see those little bits of meat there in between the fat, that's where the uh, hind puller has pulled it in the slaughterhouse. So there you go, we'll just turn it over. Look at that, beautiful. So there you go, there's a D rump. So I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed doing it. If you did, then please press the subscribe button. Uh, please also press the bell icon and then you'll be notified of any future videos. And I'll catch you next time on the Urban Butchery Channel. Skills for life. <laughs>